What's up, Flick Connection? This is Darren, and today I want to take a break from talking about movies to talk about how to have dreams like in the movie Inception. So, this video is not actually how to incept someone. I don't even think that's an actual thing, so just forget about that. It's how to have a lucid dream, which is a dream in which you're aware you're dreaming. So there are some misconceptions about lucid dreams. I'll start off with that. Uh, a lot of people think and, and even will tell you that if you have a lucid dream, it means you can do whatever you want. That's not exactly the case. Uh, it's very easy to wake yourself up from a lucid dream. Uh, and they're very hard to have. It's not really something that you can just have on any given night. Anybody that tells you that they have them every night, which I've heard like some spiritual guru people, I, I'm banking on them being full of shit because they, they usually dress like someone that's full of shit and talk like someone that's full of shit. But I've had many in my life. Um, they're totally possible and there are some things you can do in your routine to increase the chances of you having one on any given night. So for starters, you want to remember your dreams. If you already remember your dreams naturally, then you can kind of skip this step. But a lot of people don't actually remember their dreams or it's rare that they remember them. I'll probably remember a dream or two, three, four nights a week. So a pretty regular. It's not every night. Some mornings I wake up and I just can't, I've got nothing or there's something there and I can't quite grab onto to it and remember it. Uh, so that does happen. But I've got a pretty good habit of remembering my dreams. And one of the ways that I do this is I lay there for a minute, which my wife hates that because it makes it very hard for me to wake up. I kind of drag ass out of bed, but I do sort of lay there with my eyes closed and reflect. And I do this before uh, I start getting into my routine, before I really start to come to, you know, getting in the shower or before I let like a song I heard the day before pop into my head, which is inevitable most mornings. So once that starts to happen, once you start to have those things happen, you're going to wipe the slate clean and you're not going to, your dream is not going to go into your long-term memory and it's not going to be something that you remember later. So that brings up the main point of why you want to do this. If you remember your dreams and you you, you find yourself in the same place that you were in a dream previously, you're much more likely to recognize that you're in a dream. So, again, it's very important to remember them in the first place. Otherwise, I'm not even entirely sure that it's possible to have a lucid dream. It's certainly very, very difficult and very unlikely. So one, one trick you can do, that's just what I do because I'm lazy, and I do find that it's easier for me to sort of, because th they disappear, they get away from you. I find it's easier for me to remember if I really don't do anything else. But one tip I've heard is to have a journal, just keep a book next to the side of the bed, and uh, write down your dreams. It's just a dream journal. It's not really for going back and reading, but just the act of writing it down should help you remember it later. So getting in the habit of remembering your dreams is a big one. And then think about them throughout the day so that you're, you're really logging them. Uh, you don't want this to like consume your life, but you really do want like a database of uh, your dreams, the locations, the details. You want that. And, and even folk, I'd, I recommend focusing on the things that you felt were odd about it. Like, why did I not, why did I not know that I was dreaming? You know, I had a a pet hippopotamus that, I, why? Why did that not clue me in that I was, I was dreaming? So you got to do that first. Now the movie Inception, as much as I love it, it explains everything except how the tech works. And, and a big reason for that is because we really don't understand dreams. There's a lot of theories as to why we dream, what the reason for them are. I'm, I'm, I'm fascinated by a lot of those. Uh, things, but we, we really don't have a good understanding scientifically of dreams yet. That's, that's sort of a new science. But what we do know is that you can be aware that you're dreaming. It is possible. So how do you actually do this? Well, let's say once you remember your dreams, you're then much more likely, it, it's very common for you to dream that you're in the same place twice. Or maybe it's your house, but it's not quite your house. You know what I'm talking about if you, if you do remember your dreams. If you remember that well enough and you put it into your long-term memory, you're going to remember that you're in the same place again. 
not all the time, you might wake up and go, shit, why didn't I, I should have recognized that, I should have remembered that. But there will be times where you go, oh, okay, I'm dreaming. And then here's where it gets tricky. It is very easy to wake yourself up. Uh, what happens to a lot of people, and it definitely has happened to me, is because it's so rare and it's difficult to do, you get very excited. You, you, you'll suddenly want to just go do things, and if you try to build and create, especially immediately, uh, you're going to wake yourself up. So the key is to stay calm. Like you, you, and, and this happens in the movie Inception. You know, as soon as, as uh, uh, Killian Murphy realizes that he's in a dream, DiCaprio uh, or Cobb has to like calm him down and make him aware of his surroundings and, and, and keep him from freaking out. I'm not saying you're going to freak out in your dream, but you will get excited and you'll, you will, the excitement will wake yourself up. You'll get a shot of endorphins, you'll wake up. So you're wanting to stay down in this, this, this uh, paralyzed uh, uh, sleep state. So what you want to do is just let the dream take you where it wants to take you. But keep in mind, I'm, I'm dreaming and this is a dream. And then you might just try to edge out. You might make a decision to go right when the dream's taking you left. Little things like that. But don't try to like make people appear. Uh, things like that. You'll be tempted to do that, but don't do that at first. Just sort of barely manipulate things. And odds are your imagination and your subconscious is going to start to take over. But maybe in the way that you want and maybe in ways that your conscious mind is, is sort of guiding. So that's what I'd recommend you do for starters. And then if you have some success with this, which I've had, I've had spurts where I've had some success, you can kind of push it. Don't be afraid to wake yourself up. Try to see how far you can go. You might be surprised at how you can keep yourself asleep and, and do whatever you want. But don't expect that you're going to practice some of the things I'm giving you and then suddenly realize you're in a dream and go, oh, I'm going to fly and take off. It's just not going to happen that way. As soon as you get excited and you try to do that, you're going you're gonna to wake up and you're going to be in your bed. You're going to suddenly be, you're gonna be too aware that you're asleep. You want to be aware that you're dreaming and you're in a dream world. You don't want to be aware that you're laying in bed asleep because you will wake up. I'd recommend a couple of things when you're going to bed. Um, I'd try maybe two weeks of not thinking about it. Keep remembering your dreams, but don't think about it before you go to bed. Just try to let it happen. If that's not working, then think about it before you go to bed. Tell yourself you're going to be aware of your dream tonight. Kind of give yourself a mantra, go over it, try that for two weeks. See if maybe that helps you kind of slip into it better. But I would try both. I wouldn't just stick to one or the other. You're not really, I can't really tell you how your mind's going to work and how you're going to wake up. But I can tell you, be consistent and try those things for you know two weeks, two weeks, see what works for you, and then just go with what works for you. Another trick that has not worked for me, but I have heard people swear by it, it sounds like a little bit of BS, but I'll give it to you anyway because it can't hurt, is to constantly do reality checks. Uh, just like in the movie Inception, they have the totems to help remind them that they're awake. You don't need a top, as cool as that would be to like carry around a little top, but you need to do reality checks, and that can be something as simple as like looking at your watch regularly, and not just looking at the time, but taking note of the orientation of the numbers or the, the color, things like that. Just take note to, and, and note the consistency. And if you get into the habit of that, there's a possibility, this is why I don't think it'll work, but there's a possibility you'll do that habitually in your dream. And if you're, if you're doing a real reality check in your dream, the numbers won't make sense, things will be backwards, things will be jumbled. But you can do this with anything. You can do it with billboards, things like that, that you're constantly looking at anyway. But you have to actually do a reality check. You, have to, you can't just look at it and sort of, sort of you know, passively read it. You have to really look at it and, and go, okay, that's structured properly. You have to do a reality check. So try that. I kind of call BS on it, but it makes sense, but it also, it, it makes sense that you wouldn't really pick up on that in a dream as well. So it sounds made up. Uh, try sleeping on your back. I'm a stomach sleeper, which I think prevents me from doing this all, you know, having the lucid dreams often. But supposedly the orientation of you laying on your back, the orientation of your brain 
is more conducive to creativity. It has your mind more creative. And that's why I have trouble sleeping on my back. Um, I'll get into a real low level uh, where I'm not quite asleep, but I'll, I'll sit there for an hour because my brain just won't turn off, uh, which is why it might make you more active for dreaming. On that same note, there are foods you can eat uh, that will cause you to dream more, your, your things that affect the brain, which tend to be oily foods. So that could be anything from fried chicken to peanuts. Um, I take omega-3 sometimes before bed for a variety of reasons, but I find that when I do take it right before bed, I don't always remember my dreams, but I tend to kind of dream a little more and remember my dreams more often. So your brain actually, I guess, processing the oil because oils do, and fat lipids do go to your brain for brain function. All right, so this is not gonna work for you every night. You will wake yourself up the first time you do it or first couple of times you do it. But I'd be interested to know, have you ever had a lucid dream? Have you ever had the ability to control it? If you've got any tips for anybody else watching this video, please let us know in the comments. I'd be real interested to know what works for you. Some of these have worked for me. A couple of them sound like they might work, as I said, but they sound like they might not. So I'm really interested to see what works for you, what doesn't. Likes, comments, and subscribes are always appreciated. I'm, this is a new channel. I'm really trying to grow it, and all of those things help me grow the channel here on YouTube. So I appreciate that. I appreciate all of my subscribers at this early stage. And as always, thanks for watching.